In this video, I'll be showing you how you can download and install Recollector on a Mac. I'll also be showing you how you can uh, install a license key to turn off demo mode and turn Recollector into a fully licensed application. The website collectingcatalog.com is where you download Recollector, and I'm showing that website in the Safari window that you can see on the screen. What you do is you select the download uh, button in the menu bar at the top, and you can see that's already selected here. And then you click on the Mac OS X Click Here button in the Install Recollector section. And that will open up a window where you fill in some information about who's doing the download. And you can optionally tell the uh, program what it is that you collect. So I'll put in coins here. Okay, and then you click on the download button and the download starts. And you can see in the upper right here the blue progress bar indicates the download is in operation. As soon as that blue goes off, as it did now, you can close this uh, front window and actually let's hide the uh, Safari window as well. And let's go down to the dock and click on the Downloads icon. And there you see Recollector.dmg. That's a disk image file, which is the format in which the Recollector download uh, occurs. So let's click on that icon, and your computer will open up the disk image file. It'll open it up as a Finder window, and we'll see what's in the window in just a second. And what you see there is a few icons, and one of which is the Recollector icon, the application's own icon. And to start Recollector running, all you do is double-click on the icon. So let's do that. Now before the program is fully running, a couple of windows will pop up. The first one comes from the operating system, and here it is, and it's a warning that this is an application that you've downloaded from the Internet, and just for safety's sake, it wants you to double-check that this is something you really want to open. So you do. You click Open. And a second window will open a moment, and here it is. And this is Recollector itself telling you that um, it prefers to be installed, as do most applications, in your computer's Applications folder. And it's asking you whether or not to move Recollector to the Applications folder. And you should do that. So I'll click that button, and the program will now copy itself from this uh, disk image folder where it was downloaded into the Applications folder, and it will start up. And now Recollector is running. Now one thing to note is when Recollector initially starts up, it does not display any windows. It only displays its menu bar, which you can see here at the top. Um, so don't be fooled into thinking that the program isn't running just because you don't see any windows. It is. And let's take a look at the About Recollector box. This box shows us a couple of things. It shows us the product version number, 1.4.6. And below, it, it's, uh, it shows here that this copy of Recollector is running in demo mode. So, in demo mode, you have full functionality, but you're limited to a maximum of 25 records in any collection that you create. But that's enough to try the program out to see if it fits your needs, and if it does, you can go ahead and purchase a license, which will unlock the program and make it be unlimited in terms of how much data you can put into a collection. And we'll see that in a moment. But for now, let's close that and let's exit from Recollector. Now, um, when you have Recollector installed on your computer, it's usually convenient to have a way to bring it up quickly. One possibility is to put the icon for the application permanently into the dock, and I'll show you how you can do that. Open up the Launchpad application, this icon with a rocket on it, and you will see the Recollector um, icon in the list of apps shown here. Drag that down into the uh, dock and let go. And that's all there is you need to do. Now Recollector will always be there, and if it's not running, 
when you click on that it will start it up if it is running it will bring whatever windows the application has to the front so let's start it up again now as I mentioned before and we saw this in the about recollector window uh, we're running in demo mode let's say you decide you do want to purchase a license well this license key um, entry area at the bottom this is where you type in the license key that you will be sent when you purchase a license now to purchase the license you go back to the same web page that we were on before where we did the download from and a little further down right here in the buy it section there is a link to a purchase recollector button and if you click on that it will take you to a window from which you can begin the process of using PayPal to purchase a recollector license now PayPal lets you purchase a license with a credit card you don't need to open a PayPal account it really operates like any standard um, merchant site where uh, a secure website where you can purchase a product with a credit card. Of course, if you have a PayPal account, you can pay using that as well. Now, I've already done this, so let me show you um, what happens next. Once you've made the purchase, you will be sent an email. And let's open the mail application. And here's the mail you will receive um, just minutes after having completed the purchase. Um, so there's some information about the license key, and there's the license key itself. The license key is a 16-character um, key, and the easiest way to copy it into Recollector is simply to select it, as I've done here, and choose Copy from the Edit menu, and then go back to this About Recollector window and right-click in that text entry field and choose Paste. And this pastes the 16 character key in, so you don't have to worry about making any typing errors. It's guaranteed to be correct. Then you click Submit, and we're done. It now informs us that that collector is fully licensed with the license key shown. And that's really uh, all there is to it. Um, one other thing I should mention is that after you've been running Recollector for a while, you may want to see whether there's a newer version available. You remember back in the About Recollector window, um, the product version is shown here, 1.4.6. Well, if you go back to that same web page that we were on, um, and you scroll down a little further, you will see an update section. And in the update section, it tells you what the current version of Recollector is. And if you see that it's not 1.4.6, it's some later number like 1.5.3. You know that you can go back up to the top of this window and repeat the process we started with. Click on this button, download, and install the latest version of Recollector. When you do that, you will not lose your data, you will not lose your license key. The only thing that will happen is that you will have updated the software to the latest version. So that, that really uh, completes the demonstration of installing and licensing Recollector on the Mac.